What's going on guys? It is Bernardo from the BTN HD and today me and you are going to capture your user state using Smart Deploy. So let's get right into it. Okay, so capturing your user state with Smart Deploy and holy moly, Smart Deploy has made this super simple. All right. So within my environment, I have this uh, computer right here, which is uh, BTN HD-SD-1. And within this machine, Inside my documents folder, I have a couple of folders with some text documents, okay? Good to go, right? Now, within your Smart Deploy server, we need to go inside your computer management. Within computer management, we are going to click on all computers, and we are going to click on that machine, which is called btnhd-sd-1, right? When we click on it, you get a nice little sign menu. And the option is right there, guys. We want to capture the user state. So let's click on it. You'll get this nice little user data migration wizard. We are going to pick local network for now. We are going to click next there. And these are all the options that you are able to grab within your user environment. By default, it is going to drop it inside the user states folder that Smart Deploy provides you. You are able to change it if you want, but Smart Deploy actually gives you the folder. So why change it? Then the next thing that we need to do is provide a username and password that has admin rights to drop that stuff inside that Smart Deploy folder. Once you're done with that, click on next. The cool thing about this is that you are actually able to grab the user state stuff and deploy it automatically to another machine. We're not going to do that right now. So I'm going to skip this. And don't check deploy the migration file after the capture. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to click on finish. It's going to want you to confirm the user state migration. Click OK. And then, uh, as always, the first column is going to change to a little clock. And that basically means it's processing or pending. And then that icon is going to change to a little guy. And that little guy basically states that it is capturing the information. It will disappear. And once it disappears, you're probably saying to yourself, how am I going to check if the information was captured? Easy. We're going to go inside that user states path, creates a folder with the computer name. BTNHD-SD-1 was the computer that we captured. If we double click on it, you're going to see your scan state text file as well as the USMT folder. If you double click on that folder, you're going to see your MIG file, which is your migration file. How simple is that? And that's it guys, on the next video, we will go over how to deploy this migration file to another machine because Smart Deploy makes it super simple. Damn, super simple. And that's it, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Smart Deploy, the only way to manage remote PCs over the cloud. Make sure to grab your free subscription to manage 15 machines forever at smartdeploy.com forward slash BTNHD.